What's up guys, so today I thought of a video where basically I try out a bunch of really easy, quick, easy, um, hairstyles. So I thought I'd give you guys a bunch of tips on how to style medium slash longish kind of hair. Now I did a video like, like this like not so long ago actually, but my hair is a lot more short back then, so obviously my hair has grown since then, so I need to do a little bit video on how to like style medium slash longish hair, so that's what I'm doing today guys. My hair is growing so long since that video, like my hair literally goes on down to here right now. Like I can like practically eat my hair right now as we speak, like oh my god. So obviously my hair has grown quite significantly since then, so I thought I need to do an updated video on the tutorial, so yeah. Now I've always wanted to like grow my hair up for quite well, but obviously since lockdowns in the UK and obviously can't go to the hair because we're dressed right now, so I thought it might be a perfect opportunity to grow my hair out. And it looks kind of actually quite good actually, but I'm about to like, kind of get creative with how to style it and things like that, so yeah. Like, oh my god, my hair is so freaking long. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today, guys. Now, I am not a beauty guru at all, like, I do not know how to do any beauty things, things like that, so I'm not claiming that I'm, that I'm a beauty guru, but I'm about to give you guys some tutorials on how to do hers like this. So, yeah, and I'm not sure how to do this, so yeah, I am clearly not a beauty guru, so don't, I don't know, take me for, I don't know. So yeah, if you're excited for you guys, leave a like, share, 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 don't forget to leave some comments after what we'll hear from you next time, and so yeah, let's get into it. Right y'all, so yes, I'm filming this the next day because when I filmed the intro, it was like late at night, so I couldn't obviously do the rest of the video, but... We're here now on the next day right now, and so yeah, I've got my comb with me, I've got some styling gel, so let's go through some tutorials and what hair styles you can do for long hair which can go in, into your mouth, so let's do this. Now you can use styling gel or any hair wax, things out to like put to, to, to like style your hair, but I actually hate using hair wax or hair gel or anything like that, so I usually try and do my hair wet and style it while my hair is wet. But everybody's hair is different, so maybe a lot of styling gel might be necessary for your hair, but who knows. Alright, so first one right now, which is the backwards quiff. So basically, you just quiff your hair all the way backwards. It kind of looks like this in a way. Now, usually what I do is I usually wet my hair and then style my hair while it's wet. So that's why, that's why I usually do it, but for today I'm going to use these styling gels, so yeah, let's open this up. Like I literally bought a styling gel just to make this video, like I never actually have styling gel because I never use it. Right, so apply with a blob, so you just go over the styling gel like this, so you make like a okay, blue kind of things, and then you just brush your hair while it's wet. So to make the backwards quick, you literally just go backwards, so you get your hair like this, and you literally pull everything to the back, like including these sides here, which is, which is always what people miss. So you'll get your hair, and you'll throw that back like so. You want to make sure you get the little strands of hair at the back here as well, make sure those are going back as well. And just keep brushing until all your hair's good. And then there we go, we got some backwards quiff hair. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But here's what the hair looks like, so you got like a backwards quiff thing, and it looks exactly like Harry Styles, so yeah. And who doesn't want to look like Harry Styles? Like, hello? I'm not gonna lie, it's actually quite a good hair style. Like, I, I thought it looks kind of ugly, but I thought, it look, I thought it looks really good for my hair. I don't know, maybe I might keep it, you know? I'll probably not though, because I actually, I don't know if it suits me or not, but maybe it might suit someone else, who knows? Right, so here's the next one right now, which is basically just like a curtain hair kind of thing, so. Right, so here's how you're supposed to do the curtain thing. So, to get the curtain look, you, you usually just brush one side of your hair like this, so you'll divide your hair into two parts, so this is like the middle bit, so you'll like divide your hair from the, little, from the middle bit, so you'll go over your hair like this, and then make sure you get your cheek like a bunch of curtains, and then you'll just divide it like so, and then using a brush or a comb like this one, you'll just go over this half of your hair like so, and then you'll do that, and then so on so forth for this hair as well, and make sure you also brush it as well so there's no strands sticking off and whether and then also you do it from this side make sure there's no strands sticking off so you might have to brush this out several times make sure you follow where the roots are so where your hair roots are you brush from either side so you find the centre part of your hair then you brush from left to right from the centre part so you brush it from the left to here and then you brush from the right from here so just like try and brush it from this part here and then you got some curtains y'all 
If you want to really have like the curtain look thing, you can just like pull a bunch of strands down your hair like so. It'll make it generally look like a bunch of curtains. So here's what I managed to do. So yeah, this one looks kind of ugly for me, but yeah, this is how to achieve some curtain looks. You can also do the Charlie D'Amelio thing as well and pull a bunch of her strands from down here. And like, you know, do a bit of the thing that what Charlie D'Amelio has and have the curtain things around here. And there's all sorts of things you can do with this actually, like it's actually quite a good look. Right, so the next one now, which is the side fringe. So now I tried to do, to do the side fringe and it looks kind of ugly on me. Like I don't think I'd ever do a side fringe again, but I mean, I guess it didn't look ugly, but I don't know, it looks kind of, I don't know, but I'll never rock that style again. I did it for a video like a couple of weeks ago and I'll probably never do it again, but anyways. So to do a side fringe, you first of all comb your hair to the side where your shave line is. So my shave line is kind of like here. And then next bit is, this is the hardest bit because you have to like try and make your hair stay in place. How I usually do mine is you'll just like do that. And so you just keep doing it until like it's achieved. So you'll get some of your hair and you'll put it on here and then you'll just flick it to the side. So get some and you just like kind of flick it to the side so it's quite simple actually but it's so hard at the same time and so you just keep doing it until like you get the achievement of your one and there we go and then you just like if you want to flick it back a bit and you can but this looks kind of good so yeah this is the side fringe and actually i don't think it looks kind of good on me but it might look good on someone else, but anyways. Right, so the next one right now is you're doing this picture here. I don't know how to explain this, but basically you do the quiff what I usually do, but it has like a sort of curl at the end. So that's what we're going to try and do right now. So again, it's using the styling gel if you want to use styling gel, if it works best with your hair. Get a blob of it and then repeat the same process as I've shown you guys the last two hair tutorials. Blob it on your hair like so. And then you use a brush and then you just like quiff it like how I usually do mine, so you'll just like brush your hair how I do mine, so here's what I do mine, so I'll just brush my hairs. And then here's the tricky part, so you're supposed to curl your hair kind of so, you just go over it with your fingers, or like so, like try and, you know, curl it. Right, so here's what the last one now, which is the long haircut side fringe thing. So you'll get your hair like this, and you'll comb to the opposite side of the shaving of your shaving line. That's how I usually do it. And then you'll just comb until it's the opposite side of your shaving line because my hair is much more longer when you comb it to the opposite side of the shaving line. That's what you kind of want. So then you just keep combing until it's like kind of detangled and things like that. And then you'll flick it to the side like so. And then you just keep making you just play with it for a little while. And then you have this long hair. Uh, haircut thing. Like I literally look like I'm about to speak to the manager or something. But yeah, here's how to achieve that look. Right y'all, so that's the end of this video. So those were some very interesting hairstyles. But yeah, those are just like kind of like simple hairstyles things. So hopefully you guys like them and we'll try them at some point. I'm not sure. But anyway, see so yeah, if you like to see you guys in the class show, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what videos come to next time and I'll do that for you guys. But yeah, I shall see you guys um, in, the, in another video. And so yeah. Oh, and if you're asking what this is behind me, this is a Young Reporters competition thing that I won, which I explained in the last video. But basically I won like a competition thing, which, which was on TV or will be on TV. I'm not sure what, what I'm going to upload. This, but I just won a competition and this is my plaque for it. So that was what was behind me the entire time of the video. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye. Oh my god, you guys. I'm gonna be on TV this Monday, actually. Oh my god. I am so excited. Shall we? Oh my god, this is like what I won, so I am on a Young Reporters competition, so yeah, this this, this to me feels like I just literally came home with a medal or something, and I've also received this like package as well, which is just full of like random things, like random goodies. <laughs>